Hey guys, today we're checking out a router from ASUS. This is an RT-AX86U, a dual band Wi-Fi 6 gaming router. We will go over what you get for your money, its performance and our take on it. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Before we get into all the features and testing results, let's unbox it and see what you get in the box. When you open up, you're greeted with a quick start guide, router itself, power supply with all the relevant power cables, antennas and also manual with warranty paperwork. When you take all of it out, you find a network cable. This router is actually smaller than I expected. This is probably because it's designed to sit upright with the three antennas going on top. On the left hand side, we find a WPS button and on the opposite side, there is an LED on off button. On the back, we find a DC in, power and reset buttons, followed by the two USB 3.0 ports. As to network, we have four gigabit LAN ports with one of them designed as a gaming port. More on that later on. Also, we have single one gigabit LAN port and a single 2.5 gigabit LAN port. This router actually supports link aggregation. So you could merge WAN and one of the LAN ports together to get a two gigabit internet connection. When it comes to wireless, it supports Wi-Fi 6 with up to 5,700 megabit speeds. Do note, if you currently don't have any Wi-Fi 6 devices, you can still reap some of the benefits. We actually have a video dedicated just for that. If you're curious, we'll leave a link in the description below. We truly recommend you checking it out. Considering this is a gaming router, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that ASUS has toned down the gaming aesthetic and made it reasonably discreet. I wish they had included the ability to wall mount it. The design choice would be perfect for that, but it already has a reasonably small footprint, so it's not a particularly big issue. This router has a quad-core processor with one gigabyte of RAM, and it comes in really handy as it has many features, such as support for ASUS AI mesh, parental controls, adaptive QoS, and traffic analyzer. Also, ASUS AI Protection Pro Home Network Security, firewall, and of course, VPN, both client and server. You can set up a whole stack of things using the two USBs at the back. Most notable is the ability to have your own mini cloud, essentially creating a cheap NAS just by plugging in an external hard drive. This can be then used in your own home or remotely should you desire. Very handy for those who need to have their data available and don't want to either trust or pay for online cloud services. Since this is a gaming focused router, it does have a few neat gaming features. If, for example, your ISP or some other router settings are blocking particular ports, with game profiles, you can easily ensure that the connection for the particular game will not be blocked. Also, there's a gear accelerator. With this tool, you can select devices on your router to prioritize traffic. So you can be sure that in a situation where everybody in your household is simultaneously using the internet, your gaming doesn't suffer. I have played a few matches on our existing RT-AC-1200G Plus router and then RT-AX-86U with the gear accelerator turned on and found ping staying a little bit more stable and generally lower, which is a nice thing to see. This router also has a cool and gimmicky feature, which will likely be used by people who have many guests or parents trying to manage their internet usage for their kids. It is the ability to integrate with Amazon Alexa and IFTTT. So you could surprise your guests by saying something like, Alexa, ask my router to turn on the guest network. A definite party trick that will surprise your guests. Or the more mean one, Alexa, Pause Wi-Fi on PlayStation to ensure your kids come for dinner. My favorite feature is actually the Asus mobile app. While it is not exclusive to this router, it is still a very cool tool. This app lets you quickly check the connection status as well as carry out most of the setup and troubleshooting. It is also easy to configure parental controls and manage devices on the fly. Or you can select network priorities from the list, especially if you're gaming. Just enable mobile game mode, which in turn will prioritize this device for the internet traffic. Okay, I think it's time to check out the router's performance, starting with the Wi-Fi. Here we will test it against our ISP provided router, and the testing is done on a Samsung S20 Ultra, which by the way, also supports Wi-Fi 6. First location is in the same room as the routers, and we're seeing almost double the speed. Let's check out the signal stream. This is measured in decibel milliwatts, DBM for short. The way this is calculated is a little bit confusing, but basically the higher the number, closer to zero, the better. In this case, we're seeing between minus 25 and minus 30 on the AX86U. 
and minus 41 and below on the AC 1200G. Second location is bedroom, which is just one room away. And here the download speed is double and upload is three times lower. When looking at the signal strength, it has dropped, hence the drop in performance. To be fair, 150 megabits is still a very manageable speed. Now we move to the third location. This is the furthest point away from the router and it has a few walls in between. This simulates router placement across the whole home and is absolutely the worst case scenario. The download speed here is more than two times faster and the upload is three times faster. While we were using the old router, the phone dropped the 5 GHz signal and connected to the 2.4 GHz signal for better quality, therefore sacrificing the speed. What is interesting, in the same location, the signal strength of the AX86U is worse, but is still able to maintain the faster 5 GHz connection. In this situation, if we had more people in the house using Wi-Fi, then with the older router, we would have had noticeable dips in performance, while the AX86U would maintain enough bandwidth for everyone. When testing wired network, we see similar download speed and slightly faster upload speed, which is expected, but as mentioned earlier, this router supports link aggregation, and it is possible to set up 2 gigabit internet connection. With this in mind, you can connect your compatible 2.5 gigabit devices and utilize the full Wi-Fi capabilities to have crazy speeds. And if you're quick enough, Singtel is launching a new gaming bundle for a 1 plus 1 gigabit fiber internet and currently running limited time offers. These include discounts and also free gifts for the first 50 subscribers. We'll leave the details for the router and promotion in the description below. Go check them out. By the way, we would love to hear some of your feedback. We filmed this on a new camera, which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Let us know what you think. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.